everyone welcome to day 27 of the foundation challenge so I am actually making um, what I really wanted to make today was something that would be easy to eat and then also would be easy for like a leftover like if you wanted to do an A plus B plus C meal and you wanted it twice so all at one time super easy um, but I decided I wanted to make lasagna and lasagna tends to be somewhat labor intensive and I decided I wanted something that was fast like not necessarily fast cooking because you can cook stuff in the oven and it's fine you just walk away and it cooks on its own but like quick prep so I looked online and I really didn't see anything that was like quick prep for lasagna like lasagna takes forever according to just about everybody and I was like I'm not I'm not into that today I don't want it to take forever so I am making my own lasagna that I'm gonna call a quick prep lasagna because I don't think this is gonna take very long there's one thing that you have to do ahead of time okay let me preface this I wanted a quick prep lasagna that is all homemade ingredients still. Okay, I didn't want a whole bunch of store-bought stuff. I could have done, um, I mean, you could definitely do things that are quick and easy that have got all the stuff already prepared. Like, you know, you buy spaghetti sauce and that's super easy and convenient. Um, but I wanted something that was just easy, ready to go. But homemade ingredients, like just all individual ingredients that you use. So, um, first things first, I've done one thing as a prep ahead of time, and that was to blend some tofu Technically two things, okay. So tofu and nooch, okay? So we've got some innards mix for um, lasagna. And the other thing is that I've made some vegan Parmesan cheese, which is um, oats and cashews and uh, garlic and nooch, that's it. Um, but I had some leftover in the refrigerator. So I'm going to just finish using this on the top. That's totally not necessary. You don't need to have that part at all. So let's make some lasagna. This is gonna be super fast, super easy. Um, not difficult at all, all just individual ingredients. So come on down to my counter. So here is my big lasagna dish that we're going to be using. So I've got several different cans of tomato sauce that's no salt added. So because I am not cooking my noodles that I'm using, I need a fair amount of pasta sauce. And I also did not thaw the peppers and onions that I'm using because I want the liquid from them to be um, available to help cook the noodles as well. So, all right, so we've got just a layer of sauce. So what I wanted to use, I didn't want to use lasagna noodles per se, um, but I wanted to use noodles that would be very quick cooking noodles. So I'm going to use these fettuccine um, noodles. They also could fit into a column A and a column B because they're just made out of beans, literally. There's mung beans, green beans, and water, and that's it. So. We'll see how this goes. I really don't see this as being difficult, but you never know. Some things are more challenging than others. I just want them to be in here. Like they don't have to be in a single, single layer, but relatively single file would be great. But I wanted noodles that would cook very quickly and these cook in water in two to four minutes. So that's like a perfect lasagna noodle. Okay guys, that looks great. So, innards of lasagna. Um, actually for the tomato sauce, I really also did want to put some spices in there and I totally forgot. So let's do that real quick right now because it's not going to change matters any. So when you buy spaghetti sauce, it always has sugar in it. So I am going to put a tiny little bit of sugar on there because there isn't any in the, um, in the tomato sauce. But that's it, that's all. Just sprinkle a tiny little bit of sugar on there. I want um, some garlic because that sounds like good and um, Italian to me. And I also want Italian seasoning, which you could totally just use uh, oregano and basil. You totally don't have to have like an actual Italian seasoning and that would be just fine. So there we go. Okay. So we're just making two layers here, by the way. like. Outside, insides, outsides again, and that's it. Um, so, next thing that's going in here, I've got two bags of peppers and onions, and they are still frozen, which is actually what I wanted because I wanted them to be liquidy to help cook the pasta. So let's move those around. And then 
I want um, some spinach in here simply because it's healthy for you. So we're gonna put some greenery in here. Doesn't need a ton. Okay, and then we're going to scoop this tofu into here as best as we can. Uh oh, yeah, I just slopped that all over the place. I think I got myself in my shirt. Oh well, not going to hurt me any. You could probably do two containers of tofu. That would actually probably be a little bit easier in terms of spreading it around if you had a little bit more. But this isn't going to hurt anything. And you don't even actually have to blend your tofu if you didn't want to. You could just put your tofu in here, um, just crumble it as you go. That would be super easy too. Okay. Next and last is one more layer of pasta and some uh, tomato sauce again. So let's try and do this a little bit neater this time. Not that it, like I said, it really doesn't matter. It's all going to cook just fine. I mean, that's my goal is that it just cooks just fine. We'll see, maybe not. that you wanted more spaghetti sauce on top of this that would be totally reasonable um, you do really want the um, noodles to be covered completely so I might have to go get another can of tomato sauce which is totally fine let me go do that and I will be right back guys okay so let's finish up with some more pasta sauce here Okay, let's spread this around so that our noodles get covered. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did to the bottom layer, although albeit I didn't do it right when I put the sauce down, which I should have, but I don't think it's going to change anything flavor-wise. We'll do a little bit more sugar and my hand is wet, so this is going to stick to me like crazy, but that's okay. It's a lot easier to do when I had uh, dry hands. And then we're going to do our garlic and Italian seasoning one more time. And go as heavy on the seasoning as you like, obviously. Um, I'm definitely going for some flavor here. I think it will taste wonderful. And then the last thing is the Parmesan cheese, which you do not have to do at all. Like, not at all at all. I am feeding children and hubby, so I'm making extra good uh, use of flavors that I have available. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to cook this just like I would another any other lasagna. Um, I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees. It's going to be covered. I'm going to cook it for 45 minutes and then take the cover off and see how it's doing, see what the noodles are up to, um, and then probably cook it for another 15, 20 minutes with the cover off, and then let it sit until it's time to eat supper. Um, so I went to the doctor's this morning, so I didn't eat breakfast right away. And then when I came home, I had a very small lunch with my husband because it was already lunchtime by the time I got home because the doctor's office was like running, they weren't running super behind. 
I mean, they were super behind. It wasn't that they were running behind, it was that their computers weren't working. So therefore everything was taking like five times longer than it should have. So it wasn't like they had so many people. In fact, there were very few people there. They were turning people away like crazy. I was like, yeah, no, you, I need to get my blood work done today because I don't have all that many days that I'm actually available in the morning to come in that I haven't eaten in like forever. So anyways, um, so I had a corn, ear corn, and then I had um, some of the leftover broccoli from last night and it was fantastic, super, super good. Um, but this is, lasagna is a perfect A plus B plus C meal with the A being the tofu and the nuts from the Parmesan cheese and then the pasta, which is could sh shuffle itself both into the A and the B column because it's made out of beans and then vegetables. So there you go. So quick prep lasagna. This took, I mean, less than 10 minutes to put together from start to finish. Super, super easy. Um, and it's going to be delicious, I know. But anyway, I'm gonna get it cooked and I will see you guys later um, when it comes out of the oven. It's been sitting for a little while so I can actually cut it like a normal lasagna and get it out. Um, but I do wanna make sure that you know, um, cover it simply because with the vegetables being frozen still, you want them to um, let go of their water and you want them to actually cook the noodles. That would be helpful. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys, so it is time for supper and lasagna is done. The spaghetti is just finishing up for the boys. Um, yeah, this is really good lasagna. So quick, quick prep lasagna turns into, I mean, it's a little bit juicy. I, I'm guessing that maybe I should have squeezed out the uh, peppers and onions just a little bit, but I wanted them to cook the noodles. The noodles are fully cooked, so that's perfect. Um, if you used a little bit less quick cooking noodle, you would definitely want to leave the, the pasta in there or the, the peppers and onions frozen because you would want them to have that much liquid. But anyway, it's fine. And this is very good. Yeah, it's very good. Tasha Mark, we like lasagna. <laughs> anyway, I'm really excited about it being super fast though. That's awesome. Okay. It's gonna be time to eat here pretty soon. Um, and I am going to um, exercise with my husband after that. So we will see you guys for, I can't remember, I think it was fast paced cardio today. I don't remember for sure. I'll let you guys know what we're doing in a little while though. I'll see you soon. Alrighty guys, so this is what we're going to be doing for exercise today. This is definitely a repeat that we've done this exact set of exercises before. It's fast paced cardio. Um, and I think that, yeah, it's a seven. So you do seven of these rotations. We're going to go ahead and do seven sets. And I will be with you guys to talk about it in just a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be really any more difficult than it's been in the past. I think this one will be actually, oh, you know, I'm not sure that we've done jumping jacks every other exercise before. I don't think we've done that. We've done some combination thereof, but anyways, let's go see how this goes. Alrighty guys, so exercise is done. So actually I am kind of hot and sweaty after that one. We try to do and have been more so the fast paced cardio, trying to do them as quickly as possible rather than really like, you know, like this, the side jacks rather than getting a huge stretch in, trying to do them as quick as possible. So you're constantly in motion, um, try and get cardio out of it. So anyways, <sighs> I'm a little hot and sweaty now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that's it for me for today, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for day 28.